Praise the Lord, a pleasant good day to all of you all. We'll bless you. This is our 10 day of prayer and fasting, man. And we are going, we are moving together, and we are getting closer to the Lord, and we are coming closer to our victory. Amen. Now, today I just want to read a portion of scripture for us and just talk a little bit about it. Amen. And, uh, you know, in Matthew chapter 18, verse 21 to 22, it says, Is then Peter. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how often should my brother sin against me? And I forgive him till seven times. Jesus said unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but until seventy times seven. And uh, I want to say that in this particular scripture, God really wasn't set on a limit on how, how many times you know we should somebody should walk against us and then we forgive them man 70 times 7 is is um so maybe 490 amen 490 i'm not saying that that is the limit but what god was really saying that just as god forgives us without a limit we should forgive others without counting how many times amen we shouldn't keep record and in Colossians 3 13 it says it's forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any any as Christ forgive even as Christ forgave you you also do the same thing amen Christ forgive you the truth is where would we have been if Jesus decided but you know what Nicholas sinned again I'm not going to I'm not going to forgive him because you know this thing becoming a habit man where would we have been you know, we ought to be like Jesus. And I want to encourage us. If you have any unforgiveness in our heart towards anyone, I want to encourage you to forgive. The truth is, forgiveness is not for the other person. If you have unforgiveness in your heart towards someone, forgiveness is not for that someone. But forgiveness is for you. For you to release that person. So that you can, you know, you can, you can pray to your Lord with a clean heart. So that you can, you know, go about your day with a clear conscience, knowing that you would have forgiven that person, knowing that you have no ill feelings towards that person. Amen. Knowing that you would have done and, and, and what is pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Forgiveness is such a wonderful thing that we have the ability to do. But we have to do it if we feel that we want to keep someone in mind, or keep somebody in our heart, etc. You know, I'm telling you, God is not pleased with that church because he forgave you and he never kept a record. He, up to this day, he has never kept a record on what you would have done. You know, some people say, I forgive, but I don't forget. I want to say, I believe that that statement is not true. Because God, when he forgives, he wipes the slate clean. Yes, as a human being, we will understand and know, but we will not hold someone to ransom. It will not cause us to act in a particular manner where we treat that person in an unseemly way and, 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 and a reproachful way, amen? We must forgive. This morning I just came here just to let you know that on this 10th day of our prayer and fast, that forgiveness is important. Forgiveness is not for the person who is being held captive in our mind and our heart, but forgiveness is for the person who is held in bondage by their unforgiveness to that other person or persons that may have offended them. Do not fall prey to the trap of the enemy and cause offense to cause you to not forgive someone. Amen. God bless you. I pray that you will receive this word with gladness. And not only that, that it will bring change in your heart. Amen. God bless you. Me, Apostle Sister Crystal, and I have a great day. Have a wonderful day. I pray and I trust God that you are holding fast to the fast. Have a blessed and wonderful day.